Uh, the points are shared here in Bromley. What did you make of the match? Um, tough place to come. It's a difficult game. Um, it's always hard when you come here against Bromley. They're, they're a side in good form as well. So um, we're disappointed we haven't won the game in the end. I haven't been leading one nil and had some good opportunities as well in, in the game. And disappointed with the way we conceded the goal. I felt that. Um, Although they clashed heads, we had the ball, so we felt it was back into our control. The ball should have come, the ref gave us to them for whatever reason. And uh, listen, we've got to defend it better, without a doubt, we have to do that. But the initial bit, we had the ball, so I'm disappointed with the referee with that. For so long, we were ahead in the game. To be honest, El hasn't really made a save, is he? No. Are you a little, little bit disappointed to come away with, uh, with just the one point tonight? Yeah, I am. Of course I am. Like I just said there, I think we, we, we were probably watered, really. I know the last 10 minutes they still got on us a little bit and, and they moved the ball well, and they've got good players. They've brought some good players on as well. We know, like I said, they're in good form. Um, so from that aspect, disappointed, yes. But looking at the overall picture, I don't think it's a bad point away from home coming to Bromley, who we were in good form. What do you think we've learned from tonight? It was a solid performance, especially you said to, uh, you said to me before the game, in the midfield is where tonight's game could be won. I thought we were excellent in the midfield tonight. Would, but what have you learned? Um, I think we played like a different shape. that We, ha we, ha we, don't, we haven't played 4-3-3 three, three loads. Um, there's bits of it that were really, really good tonight, really good. There's bits of it we need to work on. I thought from us, from defending, then transitioning to attacking, I thought we could be better in possession, the ball to move it through them quicker. Um, but that's a little bit so I've got to work on with the team now, to team for to, to make them better with that. But their, their effort, their endeavour, their work ethic, the team have been terrific again tonight in terms of that. Um, and we've def it's definitely something for us to build on. You mentioned the uh, change of system there. How come you made that switch for t tonight's game? We just felt they've got so many players in the middle of the pitch that we wanted to really load it up in there. Um, their full-backs join in well as well. I think um, Bears and Fisher are good at that joining in from their area. So we wanted to have Westy and, and June to try and stop that and to counteract that on the other way in 1v1 situations. Um, and obviously Josh then, is, we were hoping, had the freedom to go down the sides when Josh got in a couple of times tonight and um, unlucky enough to score a couple of times. We're so used to seeing our forward boys get the goals, but Josh here pops up with one today. I think he's had a very good season so far. It was a great cross slash shot, wasn't it? Yeah, it's that, it's that one that you, you aim towards that back post and hopefully everyone misses it and it goes in and it was, it was a great delivery and Josh has got that. I, I totally agree with you as well. I think Josh has been outstanding this season. He's a player that probably can go on notice because he's very, very low maintenance, but he does his job every week. He's really reliable. Probably the same as Sam Ling on the other side. A player who you know that you know what they're going to do from, on Saturdays and Tuesdays. We're back at home on Saturday then, celebrating Diversity Day. It's going to be a bigger crowd than usual, I'm sure, and it'll be a good game to go with it as well, won't it? Yeah, no, yo, I, on, I think they're playing tomorrow. I know the game was off tonight. I don't know if they've moved it to tomorrow. I know a couple of teams have. They've um, they've really picked up on the Mark Cooper, who's gone in there and, and changed it around. Um, we'll have a good look at them tomorrow on Tuesday in, in preparation for Saturday. But hopefully we get a good crowd. Obviously it's our diversity day, so hopefully we get as many people in as we can. It's a great cause and a great thing the club do. Um, and hopefully we can get a win.